welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video so it is saturday night i'm home drinking wine why don't i play a game of never have i ever not just any game of never have i ever the dirtiest version of never have i ever i went onto the internet and i found the top sexiest and dirtiest never have i ever question if you don't know what Never Have I Ever is, if you've never been to a Lagos house party or to any house party, Never Have I Ever is a very popular house party game. You basically give everybody alcohol. Somebody makes a statement. Never Have I Ever... Why is it so hard to think about that? Never Have I Ever Owned a MacBook. And if you own a MacBook or if you have owned a MacBook, you take a sip. What we're going to do is that I have my drink here, I have some wine, and you at home could have water, could have wine, you could have anything and I'm gonna be reading these um, never have I ever questions and if I have done these things I will drink and I will share some stories if you drink to one of the questions I would love for you to share a little bit of a story or a comment on what it was if you want to if you don't I get it but still you know let's share let's have fun so that's what today's video is gonna be about we're gonna play a very fun game of never have I ever all I'm doing is sitting in a robe and drinking wine, the human version of that verse in the Anderson Park and Bruno Mars song. You guys know that song. I'm not gonna play it because I want to, you know, I want my money, so I do not want to be demonetized. We're gonna play Never Ever Ever, we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna share some secrets, we're just gonna have a good time over here. I would love if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, it'll make me the happiest girl on the entire face of the internet. And I'd also love if you clicked on the notification bell so you always get notifications of whenever I upload a new video. First question is, Never have I ever made out in a moving elevator. I like making out in elevators. Never have I ever used something from the household as a sex toy. Oh no. No, no, no. Never have I ever slept with someone just because their social media profile was great and impressive. No. But there is somebody. <laughs> Never have I ever had to delete any sexy messages fearing it would get the attention of my partner. So like sexy messages to other people? No. Never have I ever hit on a married guy knowing it would not last long. Technically, I did not hit on him, he hit on me. So, if you live in Lagos and you've not been hit on by a married man, do you really live in Lagos? <laughs> Never have I ever fooled around my best buddy just to experience the closeness we feel for each other. Oh my God, no. Never have I ever indulged in satisfying oral sex with someone and never kissed them on the mouth. Oh, I'll kiss you. Yeah, I'll kiss you. <laughs> Never have I ever goofed up names while dating multiple people at a go. No. Never have I ever gotten injured using sex toys while enjoying a lonely session. <laughs> Do you mean while masturbating? We can type this out. Like, we're, we're, we're adults here. We're adults here. No, I've never. I've been quite safe. Never have I ever had sex with someone I was not attracted to just because I was feeling horny. No. Here is a fun fact about me. I do not know how to sleep with people that I am not attracted to. I don't get it. I don't know how to do it. Like once I look at your face and I think your face is like, no, I just can't sleep with you. I just, I don't know how to close I am do honest to fucking God. I, I have, I have no idea how to do it. Never have I ever had neighbors banging on my door after a sex session for noise disturbance. Uh -huh. No. It's so funny, but these things are actually like really dirty and I've never done these things. So I'm like a good girl. So far, so far. Never have I ever had a threesome after being high on hash or cocaine. One, I have never tried cocaine. Two, what is hash? What do they mean? Three, I've also never had a threesome. Never have I ever had sex with a person of the same sex. No, I haven't. Never have I ever made out sitting on a chair while they poured wine on me. That is very specific. Who wrote these questions? This this seems very, very specific. Like, it's so specific. Never have I ever farted while making love or kissing. <laughs> it happens. Bodily functions happen during sex and it's funny. And you move on. Never ever... What? Never have I ever removed inner wear with my lips. Now I feel like a Nigerian wrote this. What is inner wear? But like, who types this as inner wear? Oh, actually. Yeah. Never have I ever invited a male friend home while I'm all alone in the house. One of the joys of being an adult woman is calling a guy over to your house in that context. It's, it's, it's 
a, it's a joy just being like, hey, what you doing? Come over. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a joy. I love it. It makes me feel like such an adult woman, you know, like, I got my shit together. I'm fighting you over you. Come to my crib. Never, ever, ever smelled bad when on dates. No. I make sure I smell good. I clean up nice. I clean up very nice. Never have I ever woken up next to a stranger. Does a one night stand stand as being a stranger? Does it? I don't know. We know we, we knew each other's names. So he wasn't a stranger. Never have I ever smelled my girl's panty. Yeah, this these questions were written by a Nigerian man. <laughs> these questions were definitely written by a Nigerian man who was thinking of questions of never have I ever. Never ever ever had sex with a funky role play. I think this thing is just trying to say have I never have I ever like role played before and uh, get yourself a good story and just live it. Just live out that fantasy. You will love it too. So much. Never have I ever stopped with a prostitute. No, I have not. Never have I ever dreamt of making out while swimming in a pool or at a beach. I absolutely love to swim. And when you love to do some things, you might want to combine them together. Never have I ever had more than one orgasm in a single sex session. <laughs> I am a woman and I have multiple orgasms. I thank God for that. To be fair, I was not having multiple orgasms until I grew older and knew my body more. When you have more sex or when you, you know, engage or when you learn your body, when you masturbate, when you explore yourself, you find, you, can't, you find the things that work for you. And if you are able to communicate that to your partner, you are in for a slow time. If your partner is rece receiving, if he's like the kind of person that listens, if he's like, oh, okay, this will, oh, this way only, okay, I can try that out. Believe me, multiple orgasms are there, people. Never have I ever given a sexy massage to a man I did not know. No. Never have I ever given a lift to a stranger while driving alone on the highway. No. <laughs> I lived in Lagos. Never have I ever paid to get laid. No. Never have I ever gone out of my way to winning my partner's attention. Yes. Never have I ever made out in a discotheque. No, actually. Never have I ever fantasized about my best friend's wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend. No. Never have I ever gone to a spa and got laid. No. Never have I ever gone to Thailand to meet pretty ladies. No. Where are these questions from? Never have I ever, ever visited a sex shop and purchased sex toys. Online, yes. So, but well, I'm not just, they said visited a sex shop, so it's brick and mortar so well. Never have I ever seen porn during my school days. Never have I ever been turned on by watching sexy music videos. Oh my god, Doja Cats released a new video with SZA and the, the male lead, the Asian male lead is on. Um, yeah, yeah, he's something. Never ever ever felt like making out while working in the kitchen. Never have I ever made a move on my colleagues to get office office work done. No, oh my god, no. Never ever ever hired house help to make out with her. What the fuck? Never have I ever had a crush on my boss. No. Actually, I should be drinking because I did have a crush on my boss, but then I realized he was an idiot So the crush disappeared, which is why I probably was like no, I never had a crush on any of my bosses Never have I ever traveled to a foreign country without a packet of condoms No, never have I ever wore a scarf just to hide the love bites I got from the last session I am usually the one giving the bites so Never have I ever read racing magazines to get my dose of sex education. No. Never have I ever slept with my siblings or cousins. Ew. I thought this was going to be like scandalous. Like it has been scandalous, but like wow, these are these are terrible questions. Never have I ever made out with all my clothes on. What is what the fuck does that mean? I made out with clothes on and off, so I guess I made a drink. Never have I ever watched someone have sex without their permission. No. Never have I ever danced dirty or performed a strip tease for someone. I have never done it, but I have wanted to do it for somebody. Never have I ever used sexting to just turn someone on. I'm a writer, so sexting is fun for me. Never have I ever put on lipsticks to turn my lips pink or red. What kind of question is this? Never have I ever felt embarrassed while buying my partner's favorite condom. 
never have I ever given a chance to love, so I only make love. Okay, that's the worst question to end on. It's always a man race this, and this is the thing about men. They start off promising, but they just end up disappointing you. All right, guys, I am sufficiently tipsy, and I have bared my sexual soul to you, <laughs> basically. And I hope you had a good time. Do let me know if there are any of these questions, even though some of them were questionable that you have done, share your stories with us. Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel, and do not forget to be awesome. I'll see you on the next video.